Hello, and this is my second video of today. And in today's video, I want to talk about the dimes I bought. And the reason I want to talk about it was because, for those of you who know, I actually bought a bag of 500 from a, well, through a supplier I know, through a dealer I know. And they arrived up, and what I did was I, I separated them into five pots. Uh, it's really four pots, it's just this one wasn't big enough. Now here's why it, it, it's worth your time to buy in bulk. See these, these are going to be 150 coins. Slightly worn, some of them are more worn than others. There's no numismatic, but 150 is actually cheaper than what my sources have been telling me. So I've been hearing that dimes go between 175 and 225. So I'm pricing out the lower end of the spectrum on the premise that I can get lots in, I can bring the price down and I can become a market leader in, in this type of coin. If someone else wants to challenge me on that, then that's fine. You know, I, I can either beat them for price or I can go elsewhere. So these are 150 ones, as you can see, they're a bit loved. Loved is the term. <laughs> you know, I've got these two. So these are the ones I picked out that are slightly better, you know, there's... They're not quite amazing, oh, uncirculated. You know, I do need to brush up on my, uh... that's probably in the wrong part actually. That's a nice coin. Again, nice coin, but it's not, it's not, not, it's not got the same luster. You know, some of these coins are, are nice. Again, it's a, it's a bit worn here. So I put this in the middle pot because they're better than, they're not worn. That some of them are still quite appealing to the eye. They're just not as good as pot number three. I've actually sold twenty one of these, so at one seventy each. So some of these are really nice coins. These are probably worth more than 170. I'm still playing around with the prices, so I've got about 150, 160, 170. Nice coins. You know. I've got one last pot. And these are the ones that blew me away. I be keeping these, I will be keeping these until I know what I'm personally doing. There's one coin in here that is it's a 54 and I looked, I literally just picked it up and it was like finding a needle in a haystack. It just it screamed at me. It's not even this one, this one's nice. Look at that. Look at them. Something quite special about alloyed silver at 90%. It really hits the spot. You know it's worth money. It's not that one. It's not these ones. It must be this one. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. This one just blew me away. I don't know what this is worth, to be honest. I need to do some more digging. Maybe four pound, five pound, I, I don't actually know. So it's 54. Most of my really good ones are 64s, the last in here in Mintage. It's got a bit of a weak strike on, on both sides. You can see from the date, and you can also see from this bit here. Fantastic coin, absolutely fantastic. And when I can work out what I'm gonna price it at, I know. But the other ones I've I've broken down, so this is going to be my my new business model for a new business. So because I'm not dealing in bullion, I'm dealing in currency coins. It's going to be graded, so I need to learn a lot about grading. It's going to be done properly, accountants in place, etc. So look at them. I didn't actually put this one in here. I had 10 in here. 
Yeah, this one wasn't me. When I uh, when I put these in, I had ten, but I had some around, you know, playing around with a couple of these because they thought they were cool. I think they must have put that one in the wrong box. But yeah, these are my. Uh, I really like them. You can't go wrong with American Crunch. I I never used to like it until I got it in, and then I was like, nope, I I get it. I just get it, you know, and it's it's nice when that happens. It is nice. So I need to work out how I'm going to sell this stuff. Um, I might tear it, I might give people the option. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but it is fantastic coinage. It's, it's certainly going to be a staple of what I offer going forward. The, the margin is right for me. The coins are right for me. You know, and I think the customers will love them. So. But yeah, tell me what you think. Like, subscribe. Tell me what you think about the grades on these as well. Like, if anyone knows more, please let me know. Like, I'm I'm still learning as I go on these types of coins. And that's okay. You know, I'm I'm not going to be an expert dealer in a very short amount of time. It takes many years of experience. You know, I'm I'll probably say I'm a master of um, strategy and certain things business, but I'm not I'm not a master dealer. Far from it. You know, I'm still learning my craft, so I know the theoretical side of it, but the practical, the practicality or the practical side of it is is what I really need to work on, and that's okay. So, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe. Take care.